Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, first things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so I had a thought whilst I was getting ready uh, this afternoon. I've been out for lunch this afternoon. Had a really, really very nice time. And I was thinking as I was getting ready, I was sorting out my hair, getting ready to go out, and I thought I haven't updated my channel with my current hairstyle for a while. And very often you will see that my clips resemble my hairstyle like this, so actually it looks like that I haven't got very much hair at all. Just to let you know, I've got fine textured hair, but I've got a lot of it. Okay, I work at keeping my hair as thick and full as possible throughout the hairline and throughout the whole of my scalp. Okay, and the products which I will account that to are the L'Oreal, uh, the L'Oreal, the L'Oreal <laughs> Cerioxyl Denser Hair Solution, and the recent product which I won't give too much away because I haven't reviewed that one yet, and we're going to be reviewing that real, real soon, is by Vichy, I believe. And that's, I believe that's how you pronounce it, but it's the same product, Stomioxidine, in both products, which are fantastic, and I've had really, really great benefits from them. Enough of that said. That's where I account to a full head of healthy hair and a good diet, controlling your stress levels, exercise and just being really, really healthy in your approach to life. Anything is OK in moderation. OK, and a really rich diet, vitamins, minerals. And I take a multivitamin every single day to keep on top of health problems because I have hearing issues and one or two issues in the background and recently recovering from real major surgery, which is fantastic because I'm out the other side now. OK, so hairstyle so it's really difficult for me to show you my my current hairstyle now but what i do because it suits my lifestyle because i work i start work from six in the morning okay so i'm up way way early which is not a problem because i always have been and then i work till the uh i work sort of to about two sometimes the latest or about three this week's been really quite pressure because i've been doing a couple of nine hour days which is very very full on i work in finance in accountancy i'm in the background so really very full on um but i do enjoy my work um but of course, I need a hairstyle that's going to work for me. I need it to look professional on sort of Skype calls, Zoom calls, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, and of course, going into the office whenever I need to. So I need a hairstyle that's going to look professional, presentable, sleek, but with a modern twist. OK, so ultimately, you think that it was just a comb, slick back 1920s inspired look, which I love, by the way, when my hair is shorter, but it's not. So now i'm going to be showing you a picture this is my hair this is how my hair looks like from behind so i'm not fantastic at camera work or anything like that on youtube so i struggle sometimes to show you in the best lights that type of thing of how my hairstyle sits at the moment but i'm learning i'm moving forward all the time but this is what my hair looks like from behind in fact i'm just gonna so you can so you can see i'm just gonna sort of do a bit of a quick swivel here so as you can see we now see my hair and yes i've got a hairstyle which is sleek easy and in my opinion rather formal what i want it to be but i've got the choice of letting that hair down and i've got the choice of wearing my hair as a nice sort of straight sleek look or i can wear it with the texture i can have a bit of uh sort of like a bit of a salt spray or a pomade i can use all sorts of products to create a host of different styles but ultimately this is my style what i like to do so what do i do then first thing in the morning so i wash my hair okay so i use a shampoo and a conditioner which is designed for fine hair or for creating volume and thickness now you may think what's the point if you look like you've got a wet look hairstyle well because ultimately always use a shampoo and a conditioner which is designed for your hair type because that way it's going to be boosting your hair throughout whatever style you wear or throughout the day i always shampoo twice once to get rid of any product buildup. Secondly, to use those ingredients which are in the product actually to get to work on my scalp. OK, then I use a conditioner. I usually leave the conditioner on for a couple of minutes whilst I'm doing everything else in the bathroom. And then after that, I leave on my sort of, as I call my treatment kind of tonic sprays, which at the moment I'm using a spray which contains stomioxidine, which I will turn it between this product, I believe, by Vichy and uh, L'Oreal Cerioxyl, which is a droplet uh, solution in a glass bottle, which you can have a look and find my review if you wish on my channel. Now, those I count to having the thickest, fullest possible hair. Um, that's my style. So I have got some highlights in my hair, which are growing out. As you can tell, they're probably growing out to about here now. So I'll probably have those done in December again. Nice with the sort of winter Christmas period just to refresh that. But my hairstyle, what I actually do 
I'm just going to show you is really nice and easy. So as you can see, I've got my hair up at the back here and I've got a band, so just a normal black band. I always keep to these bands because I find they look masculine. I don't want anything that looks feminine or over the top. But of course, if you want to use anything at all and you're a man watching this, and that's absolutely fine. Who is anybody to judge? So you can see I've got the length of my hair here now, and the length of my hair is just and just just past my chin in the front here. So what I tend to do, and as you can see, my hair is let me just see if I can pull it all up here. So as you can see, it's fine texture. It's not the thickest in the world. But I use a product just to spray the sides back so I sleek it back. And I use a brush just to comb it back nice and tidy here. And I have an undercut. Okay, so I have an undercut, which is a naught faded up to, I would say, about 0 0.5 to a 1. And then in the back, as you'll see from this picture, I've got some fading going on. So I've got a 0, then up to sort of like a 0 0.5 to a 1 of this nice triangular sort of point almost. And then the hair, how I've got it, is I slick everything back. Okay, then I use a brush, and this is exactly what I do. So I make sure that I've got my hair nice and slick back. Now, I don't need to do that because I have used a brush and I've used some spray, some free spray, which I always love to use, the Blasting Free Spray by Schwarzcroft, they got to be one, or I just use a bit more of a softer uh, spray, and that's any one which I particularly want to uh, use or which I'm trying out. So for example, I really like, uh, what sprays do I like which I like to use? Um, so I like, if you're talking just from a supermarket shelf, I like the, uh, the Weller, what's that called? Well, uh, you know, the one in the red can bottle um, with the hair gel. So I really, really like that, the Weller one there. And I like the, if we're going sort of premium, I like the Redkin hairspray. And I also like the Tresemme uh, free spray. Probably my least favourite because it's quite a wet product. But I absolutely love the Redkin products. I love the ultimate favourite is anything from got to be the Schwarzkopf Blasting Free Spray and the Volume Spray there as well. So a really good dry hairspray I find really, really helps with this style. So ultimately what I do is I take my hair back here, okay, this is a bit difficult for me to show on the camera here, so I take my band, okay, and I take that round once as you can see here, then I twist that, then I come back, okay, then I got it this side, and then what I do is I come back over and then I leave, I pull it out ever so slightly, and I twist the rest of the hair back. And then what I do, as you can't see, is I leave it down flat here. Okay. And then the back here, I sort of maneuver that round, smarten that up a little bit. And then what I would take is some free, uh, some free spray just to sort of push those single hairs down. Leave this like this. And then at the back, I've got a nice uniform style. As you can see, because I've taken it down, I've got the, bearing in mind, I've had spray in my hair most of the day. So it's a little bit got its own texture now. But as you can see, it's nice and sleek. This is an Ohio version, okay, which sometimes I do if I'm kind of around the house, or if I want it a bit more sleek and I don't want to see that at the back, what I do is I take my hair lower. Okay, so this now is lower, probably just above my hearing aids here behind my neck. Okay, and what I do is I go lower and I do exactly the same. I go around once, and I come around twice, twist it, then I, I can't really show you, and I pull it through ever so slightly, like exactly how i done on the top there. And then I've got, as you can see, I've got that nice polished. I think I prefer it lower, to be quite honest with you, rather than higher on top of the head. I don't really like that look, but as you can see, hopefully you can see, it looks really good. I've got that nice, sleek 1920s inspired sort of look in the front, and then the back, I've got the modern sort of inspired inspired um, men's top knot, sort of sleek, sort of, uh, I hate the word man bun, but if you want to call it that, absolutely call it that. My hair's quite fine, so it's quite small, but ultimately, I really, really like the style. It works for me, it works for my lifestyle, works for my job, and I have when I'm quite short of time, and then on the weekend, what I then tend to do is I tend to sort of spend a little bit more time, um, and I may have a bit of a straight hairstyle, and it's just, and just at the back now touching on my shoulders, so it looks really, really cool. Um, you may ask me what type of style I'm going for. I really, really like the Keith Urban uh, hairstyle. I really, really like his hairstyle, and I like the the longer sort of shoulder length hairstyle by Brad Pitt. So I think that's something which I may be sort of aspiring towards. But to be quite honest with you, I hate to sort of... Um, I hate to sort of pinpoint on a certain someone kind of in the celebrity world. You are who you are. Um, everybody's hair texture is different. Everybody's hairstyle is different. Everybody's hair density is different. So at the moment, my hair's really, really working for me. I will grow it a little bit longer. It looks really, really good. I find, in my opinion, for me, um, don't forget, I'm not saying I look really, really good. I'm saying that my hairstyle for me looks really, really good. Um, 
And for me, it works. And that's the main thing. Your hairstyle has to work. It has to deliver for you. So anyway, just a short little clip there about my current hairstyle. I know it's not necessarily quite clear. My camera sort of techniques aren't amazing. They are improving, I have to assure you. But for now, I hope that you kind of just last sort of look at it. Hopefully, you kind of agree that that looks pretty cool. And I like this sort of slick back look. And I like then you can see like a the texture and you've got that little hair there which i really really like dress it up with a nice jacket casual shirt like this skinny jeans absolutely love that chelsea boots then you're ready for any situation smart or casual formal okay thanks very very much for your company it means the world as ever thank you and until next time i'll be seeing you then bye for now